Hello, dear listeners. We have a very special Patreons only episode for you today. We, uh, Francis and Marge, got to interview Julie McNiven, aka Hildy. Oh, she was such a delight and just a wonderful person to interview. And couldn't have been nicer for our first celebrity interview. So we are just so excited. Um, if you're listening to this as a preview and you would like to learn more about our Patreon only subscriptions, if you go to www.patreon.com slash in a snit, you'll see that we have several tiers. Um, starting at the $3 level, you can hear some of these uh, cast and crew interviews around the water cooler and some of our other special content. Um, I think that that's a really good deal, but you know, I might be a little bit biased. But again, I hope you enjoy our interview with Julie McNiven. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. We are, are doing you? well. How are you? I am. I am together, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I have a new, I have a new stand for my iPad, so it's not quite the same. I feel like I just slouch over a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> just, you'll just not see the top of my head here. No, you're great. We typically only use the audio, so you're you're wonderful. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I got like makeup on today. Yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> I I am I am promise you, I'm actually in what I slept in last night. <laughs> but other than yeah. that, everything else is done up. Yeah, I'm wearing a sh- a nice top, but I am definitely in like comfy leggings. Yeah. Me too. But the most important thing is that you're in the in the library of your house, and that <laughs> really. <laughs> I do have a library that almost looks like this, but this is definitely just a, a background that I use. So you don't see the green curtain in uh, my recording area. Yeah. This is my closet. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Lovely. So the first question we've got is that I did a little bit of research and I noticed that you started out in like local community theater. So, yeah. And then, I mean, it also says that you studied swinging trapeze which I think is the best thing I've ever, I've ever read on anybody's it's so funny book. like what sticks like what <laughs> what gets repeated like yeah. if you put me on a trapeze right now you would want me in harnesses and <laughs> a net underneath like um yeah no I actually went to the most wonderful summer camp in the world it's still around it's called Frenchwoods Festival of the Performing Arts it's in upstate New York And honestly, like so many, I think actually I was, I have their Instagram page. I follow them and they're doing like, you know, studio 54, um, what's called underground. They do like, um, they do shows where, uh, you know, an actor who's on a show or who's on a, um, a Broadway show or something will come do a bunch of numbers and it'll be like his show. There'll be lots of different kinds of shows in the underground of studio 54 and I'm not using the right word, but you know, uh, it's been a while since I was in New York. Um, and Frenchwoods actually has, uh, I think coming up, they have like a Frenchwoods Studio 54 underground show where it's all people that have wow. gone to Frenchwoods over the years who are on Broadway, who've done, you know, really extensive theater work and musical theater work. And I mean, it's just, it's such an amazing camp. So anyway, I studied, <laughs> I did some trapeze there. And it was really fun. And I, I got out, I finished those three weeks with a lot of bruises on my leg. But it was totally worth it. I bet. And like blisters, you know, like all that fun stuff. Yes. Yes. So awesome. Talk to us a little, talk to us a little bit more about um, your community theater. Like, do you have a favorite show that you did? uh, Favorite part? Um, my community. So I did, um, my, I grew up in Amherst, Massachusetts, and we had, I think when I was in eighth grade, they started the community theater there with Oliver. And I did every year, I did like Oliver, Annie, Sound of Music. Um, probably my favorite show in that particular theater was Anne of Green Gables. Mm. Cause really there's no one more fun than Anne Shirley <laughs> when you're a young girl and you get to like, I mean, yeah. she was just uh, absolute joy to play and we actually took the show 
the next year, um, Amherst has a sister city in Japan. So we took the show to, J- wow. to Japan, to Kanagasaki, to this town, like three hours north of Tokyo or Kyoto on the bullet train. Mm-hmm. And so it was so fun. Um, yeah, I mean, Anne, Anne is- I love that. It's so much fun to play. Absolutely. So that's probably my favorite, like uh, from that community theater. Um, Hello, dear listeners. That was a sneak peek of our interview with Julie McNiven, a.k.a. Hildy, the wonderful secretary who keeps Pete in check. Julie was wonderful. If you'd like to hear the entire episode, you can do so by becoming a Patreon patron of ours. All you have to do is go to patreon.com and look up in a snit and you can join. Uh, We have several tiers of patronage in order to get these special episodes like um, today's episode with Julie McNiven or Around the Water Cooler. You do have to sign up for the $5 or higher patronage. Um, This money goes towards helping France and I build our audience and create more and more content. We would like to interview even more Mad Men cast members and crew. Um, We would like to, you know, watch and review different movies from the Mad Men era or referenced in Mad Men or just starring Mad Men cast as they go on to do bigger and brighter things. So if you would like to contribute, you can go to patreon.com backslash in a snit and join today. Um, If you do not want to be a Patreon member, we certainly understand during these times, Um, but different, you know, free ways that you can help us out is by sharing our podcast with others and helping us to grow our listenership. Interact with us on Facebook and Twitter. Um, You know, we just, we really enjoy interacting with our listeners as well as just Mad Men fans. And we just, we're having a great time doing what we're doing. We hope that you're enjoying this as well. You can also review us, rate and review us positively on any of the applications that you have to listen to podcasts. Stay tuned. Uh, We will be adding even more features coming in the future. Have a great day.